Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on September 30th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to start out by looking at the precipital water map from around the world, watching those seven tropical storms spinning in our oceans. Rosa here. Leslie here in the Atlantic. Mix, mixing with some really cool water coming off of the Atlantic provinces in Canada. Watch for cold temperatures to start invading North America. I'll get to that in just a moment. Watching cyclone action here developing in the Indian Ocean as well. is an area of interest on the Tropical Storm Watch. This is overlooking the last seven days over North America. You can see a lot of moisture coming from the north. Weird jet stream going on. Very wonky. But yeah, we've got cold temperatures and snow here in Alberta. Calgary specifically will be getting up to 10 centimeters of snow from now until Wednesday. These are our tropical storms from around the world. We're going to start out with Rosa, who is definitely downgraded. Tropical depression now. Only bringing some much needed rain to the western United States. So nothing to worry about with Rosa. As I had figured, it would be a tropical storm by the time it hit land. But it was still a fascinating storm to watch. And now we're watching Sergio, and it looks like he's going to be taking the same path that Rosa did, turning into a Category 3 in the coming days. Slow-moving storm. And we're going to have a look at Leslie now, and who now for almost 12 days has been spinning in the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, look at this track that it has taken. And a very slow moving storm just seems to be stagnant in the middle of the, Atlant the Atlantic Ocean. Next trajectory is heading north. Then Typhoon Trammy, who is bringing a crap ton of moisture to Japan, northeastern parts of Russia. And then we're looking at Kong Ray. who will be turning into a Category 4 storm in the coming days. And then, Hurricane Walaka. Now, Hurricane Walaka, I looked up the meaning of this name. The meaning of this name means ruler of the army. During our weather warfare, go figure. Trammy was the most envious of all. That is the meaning of Trammy. So maybe what all hurricanes wanted to be like. Crazy storm it was. You can see here, in the coming days, a lot of blue. That is a lot of cold air coming down from the north. Large high pressure ridge coming straight from the North Pole. And also a low pressure center coming from Greenland. Bringing a swath of moisture eastern Canada later in the week. Also watching course I was talking about these three low pressure systems joining forces and sure enough they are and they are developing over the coming days a very large low over the Aleutian Islands so watch for an uptick in seismicity in this area there is a very dense low running over top here's the track for Kong Ray Typhoon Kong Ray most likely will be brushing Thailand, or sorry, Taiwan, and then heading on the same track that Trammy did, straight across Japan. And then as I was pointing out earlier, Indian Ocean development as well. And then, I mean, look at this track of Leslie. The gray line is her past track, developing in Jamaica, heading northeast, and then around and around and around and around for days. Crazy storms happening around the world. 
strange times indeed. Here is that large low pressure center later in the week that will be hammering eastern parts of Canada, Quebec, Newfoundland. They're going to get a big time storm later in the week. And also throughout parts of Ontario in the coming days, going to have some thunderstorm action as a high pressure, low pressure convergence runs right over Ontario. Bring a big mixed bag of precipitation, some thunderstorms ahead of it. Over South America, still daytime heating thunderstorms. Australia, downgraded cyclone Lou heading south with no energy and Australia still pretty cool nights in Australia we got some more moisture heading towards you guys in the coming days as well as the low pressure center moves in towards the southeastern United States parts of Sydney we'll see some good amounts of rain overlooking Russia it's starting to get very cold very cold I want to thank you for watching today and I want to welcome all of my new subscribers from around the world I've gotten a ton of them recently and I thank you so much for tuning into morning dew and subscribing I hope you enjoy my channel please share with your friends and family from across the world as I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world we're going to take a look at earthquakes now. We did have a pretty large earthquake early this morning, 6.6 .6 in the Doi Island, Fijian, Fiji. This was a very deep earthquake, 551 kilometer depth. And last night on my live stream, I had pointed out the very deep 4.2 in that region. And I had forecasted with the people in the live stream last night, watch for a larger, deeper earthquake. Sure enough, 6.6 .6 rang off in the Doi, Fiji. Most likely wasn't felt too deep to be felt. Watching these areas here, Greece has been hopping recently for earthquakes and also throughout Afghanistan, Turkey, and Russia as well, 4.4. So yeah, of course, very active region western parts of the ring of fire stay aware and prepared have a plan folks survival bag just be ready for anything god bless you all thanks for watching today this is mike with morning dew stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew bye bye video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world